What's up? I'm Brad. Welcome to DIY Wouldn't You. Welcome back to the vlog. Now, don't get used to a vlog because, well, I don't really have time for a vlog. But I thought this would be a cool project to show for a vlog because it's not really a project, but I'm working on it, so it's kind of a project. Oh, you're wondering what it is? It's a bunch of scrap fence material. It looks kind of like a gazebo, right? Maybe a little romantic place to come back here and sit behind the shed in the woods. No, that's not it. No, this is actually a wood storage rack. That's what I'm going to call it anyway. Now, if you guys follow the Facebook group, if you don't, you should. Uh, back a couple months ago, I teamed up with my neighbor and we moved my fence line over to our property line because they wanted to build a fence and when their house was built it was all just woods on that side of the fence so our fence was over off of our property line so after talking to my neighbor he said that he wanted to build a fence in their yard and so we tore my fence down and then rebuilt a new one about 15 feet over and then built their fence off of that I have all this material left over I have all these fence posts still with concrete on the bottom two by fours stacked up against the side of the shed I have pickets stacked up against the side of the shed and it looks awful and after talking to a buddy that has a lumber mill uh, he has a bunch of trees and he doesn't have anything to do with them I'm not gonna tell you too much about this because this could lead to other projects in the future so stay tuned but he has a bunch of logs sitting on his trailer he doesn't have a place to put them he needs his trailer for other work so he asked if I wanted to work out a deal with these logs and so I told him absolutely it's a bunch of wood though and my shed my shed's not big enough, and I don't really have a place that I can store this wood to dry. I know, it's a little bit, mm, mm, mm. you know, not the flashiest, but it's back here in the back corner of my yard. There's trees all around it. It's behind my shed. It's kind of tucked back here, and it's just scrap material. It looks like poop in the yard, so why not actually build something to make it look like a poop building? So here's the plan. Set my posts just on top of the ground. Hold them together with 2x4s, leveled out. Build a single slope roof on the top of it. Cut little gussets for the corners, top and bottom. Well, it actually makes it pretty strong. And then I'm going to screw these two posts into the second and the fourth 2x4 across the floor of it. Maybe run a 2x4 underneath to strengthen it. And then I'm actually going to use the fence pickets as my roofing material. And I'm going to lap them like board and batten siding. So space two of them apart, and then put one lapped across the middle to cover that gap. So let's get to work. Oh yeah, also, when we moved the fence over, I had a bucket full of screws that I had taken out of the fence. So, all these old screws, I'm recycling. The important thing is if I'm going to dry some wood, it needs to be up off the ground so it can actually dry and it needs to have a roof over it so that it won't get rain on it. Something else about using old fence boards is a lot of these boards, the 2x4s and then as well as the pickets, have brad nails in them from when the fence was built initially. I don't feel like pulling a bunch of brad nails out. So, using my hammer and actually getting my two sons to come out here with their hammers, little, little hammers, and knocking the brads in. Check this little hammer out, by the way. I made this in shop class. 
on a lathe. Fancy. I did that so that when I put this under here and screw it in, there's a little bit of meat at the end. That ought to make this thing like a daggum tank without tracks and cannons. That's a solid wood box anyway. That's not closed in like a box. Whatever. Now it's time to put the roof on. And this is the kind of dangerous part, so just don't watch. My sides are almost eight feet long. And so six foot fence pickets aren't gonna be enough to span the length of the roof. So I've got two by fours in the roof structure of this thing. So I'm gonna put a picket starting at the center out this way and then come from the top with another picket overlapping that one. Yep. You'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> the heck was that? A guinea? A hawk. I almost forgot my coffee. That wouldn't have been a good day. You know, I had a couple thoughts right in the middle of this. The first one was, <laughs> the second one was, this is probably going to be the least liked video that I've put out so far. And then the third one was this, I don't care. Right? I don't care. I'm doing projects. That's what this channel's about. It's about doing projects. It's not a big project, it's not a flashy project, but it's a project. It's something that I'm working on and it's kind of cool. Even though it's trashy and scrap wood and looks like poop, it's kind of cool. I heard this line one time from a YouTuber, right? And the line was this, if it's worth doing, it's worth filming. And it seems simple and it seems silly, but that guy's also a multimillionaire for making videos. So, if it's worth doing, it's worth filming. 
Here at DIY Wouldn't You, we want to inspire and educate. We want to make projects entertaining and encourage you to try something fun, learn something new, and impress yourself and your friends. We want to remind you that just because you haven't done something, it doesn't mean you can't. So keep learning, keep building, keep DIYing. I'm very close to done with this. I just need to cut off the pickets across the top there where they hang over too far because right now they're hanging over maybe two feet, something like that, and then the same at the bottom. sure you're asking yourself what am I doing up here well I use the 2x4 to tack the bottom of the pickets together just to strengthen them up a little bit and then I use the 1x4 as kind of a rain stop I spaced it off the end of the pickets about an inch and a half and that way the water can run off and split and go off either side and then what I may do is tie a chain on both ends for the water to follow down that's kind of cool not sure yet but it's just an idea well that's all I've got for this video this thing's done I know, it's a little bit hoopty. But, the good thing about it is, it's made out of scrap wood. So if it's too hoopty, it's still scrap wood, and we can tear it down and scrap it. The only cost I have in this is 16 gauge finish nails. So that's pretty good. I'm sure you didn't really get anything out of this, but I don't know. Maybe a little motivation to go build something. Now the projects that this video leads to, what I'm going to be able to put on this, that's when it gets good. Thanks for watching this vlog. I don't know if you had any fun or not, but I sure did. So tune in next time. I'm Brad. This is DIY Wouldn't You. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.